Hi, Kate. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, I'm in Atlanta and I'm finishing the show. <laughs> so, oh, wow. yeah. So I, um, I watched the first few episodes and I have to say, like, it's it's so different from what we've seen even just in the last two Disney Plus series. Like, it's definitely a lot more sci-fi um, than I was expecting. What What do you have to say about that? Yeah, I, I love sci-fi and I basically just wanted the show to be like a big love letter to sci-fi, honestly. And, you know, I'm sure as you, anyone who loves sci-fi can see in the first episode, like, you know, we pulled from like Brazil, Metropolis, Blade Runner. Um, I think I was inspired by the story in the sense that, you know, the timekeepers are these really powerful beings that are like overseeing time and brutalist architecture felt really appropriate to me in that sense. Um, but along with that, you know, like the Midwest kind of architecture, the Mad Men style, because they're heroic and they're classy, the TVA. And I thought it was interesting to kind of meld those together. And yeah, it, it would def definitely, I'd say from everything, even just beyond our set design, like, you know, our music, for example, like me and Natalie Holt, the composer, both loved the theremin and <laughs> we wanted to have its sci-fi roots in that sense. So yeah, I think it's definitely something that's echoed out across the show because we were setting up, you know, the TVA, who are this kind of new aspect of the mcu so yeah we wanted it to be kind of like this big sci-fi adventure cool and did you say that um david fincher might have been an influence as well in, in the series yeah so like in terms of like beyond the design like uh, when basically because there's a mystery running through it i was like oh and i love film noir and like detectives and i was like we should film this like you know like a detective story and i was just really excited by the idea of that and i think it also lighting wise lent itself quite nicely because the TVA is like outside of space and time and it's almost like Vegas, like there's no sunlight. There's like, you know, it's not on a planet. So I think the closest thing you get a sense of seeing outside of it really is that viewpoint that Loki looks out over. And that was heavily inspired by the comics, you know, with everything stretching to infinity. So yeah, so definitely Fincher was, I mean, I have references to in episode two, there's quite a few references there. Like even how me and Autumn filmed where Loki's reading about something, like that's like the library scene in Seven. <laughs> so yeah, it definitely played a hand for sure. Yeah, no, it's very apparent in definitely mm -hmm. the second episode in particular. Um, I also wondered, because I know Loki said, um, no one is bad, who is bad is truly bad and no one who is good is truly good. I just wondered uh, which side do you think Loki is on? Do you think he's a good or a bad guy? Or does he kind of float in between? I think he's definitely in between, right? Because like, I love villains and I think you don't necessarily have to like their actions, but you have to understand them. And I think that's why all of us fell in love with Loki, right? From Thor is that it was coming from a place of pain and you just have so much empathy in like the performance that he gave. And it's like, please don't do that, but oh, I really feel for you. And obviously across his journey in the MCU, he became more of an anti-hero and I think for me, like that in itself shows room for change and growth. And we discussed that in the show. And I, I, th I think for me, the gray area is actually more, it's, I know he's a God, but it's more human to me, right? Cause I'm a human. <laughs> like, and I, I find that very relatable, that sense of like, you know, will I always be defined by my past actions or can I have room for growth and change? And I think that's something that all of us wrestle with at some point in our lives. So yeah, I think it was fun to kind of explore that idea of identity through you know loki as he digs into his own identity and his place in the universe <laughs> amazing thank you so much kate really enjoyed the series and best of luck with everything cheers